Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about defaulting Median 3000 configuration parameter settings using an INI file. Median 3000 configuration settings are stored in an INI file on the media gateway. The INI file configuration parameters are saved in the device's non-volatile memory after the file is loaded to the device. When a parameter is excluded from the INI file, the default value is assigned to that parameter. The software or CMP file loaded to the media gateway determines the default parameter values. There are options to restore all settings to factory default using the hardware reset button or command line interface. For specific details, reference the Median 3000 installation manual or SIP users manual respectively. We will accomplish setting all parameters to default except the device's IP address and web interface login usernames and passwords by loading an empty INI file to the device. Please note that in an environment where the Median 3000 is managed by an Audio Codes Element Management System server, all administration should be performed using the EMS client and not using the web interface. We will create the empty INI file using Notepad but any standard text editor will work. An empty INI file can be one without any parameters or a file with only a semicolon preceding all lines. Lines beginning with a semicolon are ignored and can be used for adding remarks in the INI file. A carriage return must be entered at the end of each line. The INI file must end with at least one carriage return. Either add one or more lines with semicolons each followed by a carriage return, end with a carriage return ending the file, or enter one carriage return, and then save the file. The INI file name must not include hyphens or spaces. If necessary, use an underscore instead. We will name our file m3k underscore factory underscore defaults dot INI. Before actually activating the empty INI file, verify one or more existing settings that can be confirmed as no longer configured once the empty file has been loaded. We will verify syslog settings. Access the Median 3000 web browser interface using credentials that provide administrator level permissions. After authenticating, you arrive at the home page with the configuration tab selected in the navigation bar. To access syslog settings, first select the Maintenance tab. In the Navigation pane, select the Management Settings page underneath the Management Configuration Navigation Tree item. The Management Settings appear in the Work pane. The syslog parameters appear in the Syslog Settings section. Note the IP address as well as the Enable Syslog and Debug Level settings. We now need to activate the empty INI file. In the Navigation pane, select the Configuration File page underneath the Software Update Navigation Tree item. The Configuration File page appears in the Work pane. To select the empty INI file, click the Choose File button. Locate and select the file. Click Open. The file name appears next to the Choose File button. Click the Send INI File button. You receive a message saying that the device resets after the file downloads. This must only be performed during a maintenance window or in a lab environment. Click OK. A message appears in the work pane stating that the device is restarting and the site will be refreshed automatically. Once complete, the Authentication Required dialog box appears requesting your username and password. Once authenticated, confirm that the previously verified settings are no longer configured. To confirm syslog settings, first select the Maintenance tab. In the Navigation pane, select the Management Settings page underneath the Management Configuration Navigation Tree item. The management settings appear in the work pane. The syslog parameters appear in the syslog settings section. 
Note the IP address, enable syslog, and debug level settings have been defaulted. All configuration settings except the device's IP address and web interface login usernames and passwords have been restored to factory defaults. For additional information on using the web browser graphical user interface and media gateway configuration, reference the Mediant 3000 Release 5.8 SIP Users Manual. Media Gateway documentation is contained on the Mediant 3000 software and documentation disk or in the ISO available for download from plds.avaya.com. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.